Hey, what's up guys? It's Adam from Shenanigans. We're out here just doing a quick rain session today and I'm working on a couple of things. So I have a red dot on my carry pistol here, my CZP-10S. That's the Hollow Sun 507 CV2 green dot. So what I'm working on today is my target acquisition. What I'm trying to do is make sure that my dot comes up on target where I want it to be consistently every time before I pull the trigger. So what this looks like right now, and firearms unloaded, we got clear here, we got clear. So what this looks like is coming out of the holster and having a proper draw presentation, getting that sight on target before pulling the trigger. And what this is gonna do, I'm doing this slowly. So what this is gonna do is gonna help work on getting those uh, mechanics down and getting them consistent so that every time I bring this dot up, pull the trigger, bang, that dot's going, or that round's going right where I want it. And I'm doing it slow at first to get the mechanics, the draw movement, get it up, find my sight, and then bang, I let off a round, bang, let off two rounds, follow up shot. So that's what we're working on right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple live for you, just see what that looks like, and then uh, see what else we got. See there I didn't have, I did not have my sights on target where I wanted them to be. So I didn't shoot. It's kind of a penalty you can think about it. Um, I got this from watching a six hour academy video. It's great advice I thought. So I pulled up, my, I couldn't see my sight on the target. I couldn't see it in the window at all. So I didn't shoot because I didn't know where that round was going. And if you think about a self defense scenario, if you don't know where your rounds are going, it's unsafe for everybody involved. And it's not very effective for you either. So instead of shooting, I put it away and did it again. So came up, so we're gonna come up, and we're gonna do it again, bang. See if we can get those sights on target this time. Good stuff. All right, so what happened there, my follow-up shot? My follow-up shot wasn't where I wanted it to be. So instead of firing off that second round to follow up and maybe have it go where it might, I decided to not pull the trigger so that I can do it again but efficiently and correctly. Let's try that one more time. There we go, that was a good one. Both first shot and second shot, my sights were right on target. This is a great exercise, whether you have a red dot or iron sights, to get used to bringing your gun out of the holster and presenting on target. Working that trigger press, working that grip, working that side alignment. Iron sights or dots on your pistols, it's a great exercise all around. Now, if you want, you can add speed to this down the road so you need a little bit more fast. I think we got a little flinch on that one. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Trying to work out those flinches too. Well, not all perfect. And right, it's, it's doing really good for me. I've actually, I've noticed my speed has increased a little bit since I've been doing it. Getting a little bit more confident in that dot coming on. While I have had this dot on this pistol for a while and I've been shooting it a lot, you know, there's still always work to be done. Always work to be done. And my goal is to be on my best, even when I'm at my worst. On my worst day shooting, I still wanna be better than my attacker, than my aggressor, than the bad guy. So it's a great exercise to get out, to work on. Um, if you guys have any comments or suggestions, tell me what you, how you practice. Tell me what you go to the range you're focused on. We should be practicing, focusing on having a purpose when we go to the range, otherwise you're not gonna get better, right? You don't wanna just poke holes in paper. Poke holes in paper with a purpose. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, let me know your thoughts, let me know how you train, let me know your mindset going to the range. We'll see you next time.